And I was so happy to be here yesterday as well to listen to Dr. Fernando. I'm sorry I missed Dr. Israel. Um, both folks that I've known for a long time and really respect the work that they do. In today's presentation, we're going to take what they have already done and move it forward um, in looking at the caregiver resource and needs domain or caregiver domain for short and looking at it from an advocacy perspective, really looking at empowering you, your family. But before we do that, I thought it might be a good idea for us just to, for you to get a little sense of who we are. Um, so I, I am the Director of Program Innovation and Outcomes for Magellan Health Services in the um, Medicaid world, and I work in a bunch of different states. But I think what really drives me in this work um, and my connection really with the Federation of Families is that I am a, a parent of two adopted kids, and one of them is special needs. Uh, he had sensory issues as a child. He was very... Um, there's a lot of behavioral challenges. And in high school, he had um, a suicidal uh, event, um, which fortunately he um, was not successful. Um, we were able to get intervention and he is currently in college. He still struggles with depression and sensory issues, but he is um, growing and developing. And knowing that there are other parents that are out there that have been through what, um, what I've experienced and a lot more really drives me to want to continue doing this work that I'm doing. And as Dr. Fernando had mentioned yesterday, she's she is a psychologist. I am a clinical social worker. And even with all my years of experience and work in foster care and work in special education, it still was a road. Um, so, you know, I do hope that we can help to encourage and empower and give you tools to use in your journeys. So I'm going to hand it over next to Chastity. Hello, my name is Chastity Wiederspahn. Um, as Ruth said, I am the Senior Quality Specialist for Magellan of Wyoming. I live in Cheyenne and have lived in Wyoming um, for over 20 years now. My family and I went through the wraparound process, which is similar to the child and family teams that you have in Idaho. Um, and successfully graduated the program and have successfully been able to continue what we learned and brought through to our family um, with being a success and being able to say that, hey, I've been there, I've done that. I'd love to be able to talk to other families, show them that I've been there, I've been at the lowest point I ever thought we could go and we're still doing okay, we're still standing here. It hasn't been easy, it hasn't been one of the, um, it's probably been one of the hardest things I've ever done, but to be able to see that success and be able to share my family's story with everybody is why I do what I do and why um, I am a care, uh, part of the care management entity for Wyoming. So I will turn it over to Sharon. Uh, my name is Sharon Weber, and I live here in Wyoming also. Um, I'm a part of the Magellan team as their lead trainer. Um, I came to this just because of life, you know. Um, I grew up in a family that needed help and didn't have the resources to get that help at the time. Um, I started working as an adult with families and with kids, and I kept thinking there's something more. There's something more. There's got to be something more because what I was seeing wasn't working very well. And so that's just kind of been my mission and my passion is how do we keep getting families what they need to be successful? Um, and so that's kind of how I've came to this. And um, at this point, I, I really am passionate about what I do um, and making sure it's the best it can be for the families that we work with. 